Hey guys, today is a pretty quick video. What I want to do is I want to make a countdown sensor for holidays. So like days until Christmas, days until Halloween. I was inspired today when I saw the Jeffrey Stone tweet. Um, actually, it was on his repo. I was looking at his repo and I saw that he was setting up these countdown sensors and I was like, I definitely want to do that. So this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use Wolfram Alpha uh, queries and a REST API sensor to query how many days to various holidays. So Christmas, Easter, Halloween, pretty much any day you want, you can use this sensor for in Home Assistant. And then we're gonna leverage that to then do some tweets and some voice announcements based on that. So I'll see you on the other side of this break. So I was looking at the Jeffrey Stone repo. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put some links I'll put some links in the description for all the repos, all the different um, code that I'm using, including my own. So check out the description for that. I was looking through Jeffrey's PRs. Uh, he had an open one, so an open to-do list, basically. Uh, a lot of people use, just like myself, I use my issues, uh, I use my issue, issues section in GitHub, in my GitHub repo to basically just list out things I wanna do. So Jeffrey had added this one that I thought was kind of cool. And it actually reminded me of one that I had in my own. So I had a days until sensor here that I wanted to use and I actually had some reference code. So there's a couple of ways to do it. Jeffrey's actually using a Python script. I didn't want to go down that route. Although I think he's going to add, uh, I was talking to him in the comments and I think he's going to add the Python code that he's using into his repo. So if you're interested in doing Python scripts, you can check that out. But the way I wanted to do it was using my own reference code. So I have this REST API code for Wolfram Alpha. And then there's also from Entail KT, he added in a, a command line. Now these, these issues have been sitting here since 2017. I tagged them for reference. I knew I was gonna get to them eventually. Now's the time. So there's, there's a couple of ways to do it. One of the ways I really like the Wolfram Alpha REST API, or the reason, I want, the reason I'm going to go forward with this one is because I can give it natural language queries. So instead of giving it actual dates, which sometimes I won't know, for instance, Mother's Day is a moving day, I can just say how many days until Mother's Day and then let Wolfram Alpha figure it out and then give me that JSON result back. So I think this is super flexible. The whole idea of my automations is to sort of build them and forget about them. I don't want to have to go back and modify them every year. So the second piece of code that we have here, it leverages an actual date. So these are great for static holidays like Halloween or Christmas, but for floating holidays like Easter and Mother's Day, even Thanksgiving, it just becomes uh, problematic. You have to just visit that code. It's only once a year, but still, I think this Wolfram Alpha should work better. You have to sign up for an API, but they give you 2,000 queries a month for free. So more than enough for what I need, especially for days until, because we're probably just going to query it either every six hours or every 12 hours. So just two or three or four calls a day, and that's about it. So if we look at Wolfram Alpha, you do have to sign up. Uh, when you sign up, it will give you a, you'll get an account and you'll get an API that you can then use. We're gonna need that for our package because you encode the API right into the URL. So let's, let's start. So we're gonna pull up. I'm gonna use my holiday package. It seems like a good fit for what we're trying to do here since these are gonna be days until, these are sensors for days until various holidays. Let's jump back to my code. We're gonna grab this code. And if you see, this code came directly from the Home Assistant forum. So if you haven't checked those out, those are a great resource for just code and different projects that people share. Let's grab this. So let's see, let's add this right at the end here. Okay, we're gonna have to back it up. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is this is old code, so we're gonna add version two, which is what we need. This is a fake API. Actually, 
So what we're really gonna do is because this API is encoded or because the URL has this encoded API, we're gonna add this entire thing into secrets. The Travis secrets are just fake secrets that we use so that when we push it up to the, when we push it up to GitHub, GitHub just sees the secrets and knows what to do with them. So we're gonna, so I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna encode the entire URL. So Wolfram, we'll start with Halloween. Halloween API. Okay, now we're gonna go back and grab the URL. And we're gonna add it here just like this. We're gonna make it HTTPS version two. We're gonna change our API in a second and we're gonna say how many days until, and what we're really gonna do is we're really gonna change this to just say Halloween. So the advantage we have here is I can just say Halloween. I don't have to put a date. I don't have to, if, not that Halloween day is gonna change, but for things like Easter and Mother's Day, I can just add these in uh, natural language and the search engine will figure it out and then give me the results back that I need. The other nice advantage is this is going to always take into account the, current, the, the, the coming year. So it's always, it's always the, the right version that we're looking for. So the next Christmas, the next Halloween. Easter. And Mother's Day might be tricky. So it's gonna be Mother's, and then we're gonna just encode it percent. So that's basically like a space, and then day. So you can see how that encoding works, super easy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab my API. So we're gonna come down here to my apps to grab my API. I created one for Home Assistant, non-commercial. Okay, I'm gonna go edit my secrets. I'll be right back. So now that I'm back here, now back in my holiday thing, we're just going to add secret. And then we're going to, let's close this. We don't accidentally open that up. And then we're going to just grab what the secret is. So in this case, we're gonna say Halloween. Perfect. Now if we jump back here and we say, how many days until Halloween. The result is 25 days. So this is gonna be super easy to just, it's when you do the API URL, it's just gonna pull back the exact one. So the, the result comes back super clean. It's very easy to templatize it and then just pull the value out that we want. So now let's just add in the rest of them. Let's save this. We're gonna then go to our Home Assistant. Just make sure that the configuration is still valid now that we've added these new sensors in. One of the interesting things about Wolfram Alpha is you should be able to use it for all sorts of things. I, uh, I noticed in my logs that I saw I had a stock uh, advantage. I use the advantage component and I guess there's an API limit. You can use uh, Wolfram to request stock prices, how many cars on the planet, how many stars in your field of view. I mean, there's some really interesting things you can get from a statistics standpoint to add right into your home system for just some speech flavor. Uh, so some interesting things, once you, once you see how this works, you should be able to use it for all sorts of things. If you come up with some really cool ways, I'd love for you to either add it to my repo or just even drop it in the comments in this YouTube video just so that I can take a look at it and add it into mine and everyone else can. That's pie hole, we're gonna fix this in a future video. So we're gonna just jump straight to our states. So here you go. Here's our new countdowns. 80 days till Christmas, 189 days till Easter, 25 days till Halloween, and 217 days till Mother's Day. So we can shoot to the development tool. 
we can go to state, we can pull in, and there's our new countdowns. I can use them for all sorts of different voice announcements, 